when I graduated from college, I actually decided I am never, ever, ever going to talk about this with anyone. Here you are. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's crazy. Sexuality and gender and questions surrounding these issues are possibly the most pressing ethical questions facing the church today. I think a lot of times when we go into these subjects in general, we're afraid that our theology is gonna break down. You see, we can get the Bible right, but if we get love wrong, we're wrong. Yeah, I don't wanna put hurting people in the position to have to prove their pain. I am sick and tired of hearing what everybody else thinks about my gender expression and my gender identity. What does God think? There's definitely going to be tension there, but that's going to be true of anybody who's seeking to follow Jesus. It's not the church's theology that's driving LGBT people away by their own admission. It's our posture. You would think that it would make me doubt God, but instead it made me condemn myself. You see, I, 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 I need these stories behind me. I, I need, I need to, to feel the, the, the real lives of a diverse array of real people when I'm talking about this so-called issue of faith, sexuality, and gender, or what the Bible says about homosexuality and, and gender identity, because it, it can become so easy just to talk about this topic as some issue, some argument to win, and forget that we're actually talking about real people. What's your family relationship look like now? I look at their life and I see Jesus saying, you have a son who's gay, and I'm not changing him straight, but he loves me and I'm using him. Do you two still believe in me? If you let any church people read this, that's us, church people, right? Tell them I don't have to be right to feel loved. I have to be dignified in our disagreement. We can change our posture without changing our theology and therefore extend genuine love and care toward LGBT people. Because our truth will not be heard until our grace is felt. Because the greatest apologetic for the truth is love.